this is Jeff. Welcome to the Backwoods, Kentucky. Uh, today we're going to wash some jars. And a friend of mine gave me about 20 dozen. So you won't be able to open those. But what you need is a good set of pliers, safety glasses, and some gloves before we start washing them. So I want to figure out a way to wash that many jars, just kind of pre-wash them and then later on do the Clorox bath a couple of times and clean them up really good. But need a quick way to do it, so I just had a few things on hand. I just wanted to see how it worked. So I thought it worked pretty good. I thought it should be. So open up a jar that's uh, kind of not easy to open. I use the pliers and I will cut about an inch. on the rim and I'll grab it and then I'll roll it this one here it's kind of rotten but see it comes off like that put that in the garbage and then I'll take my pliers and I just kind of pop it up and I'll just cover that in the bucket what kind of it's going to look like. So to save a lot of time, I figured I'd do these. And here's another one. Just kind of break the top of that open about an inch. Then you just want to keep rolling that down. Pop that off. That way you don't hurt yourself. And then just pop it open. Beans are not as dirty as some of them, but you see kind of how that is. Now we'll show you a little bit of rig that I got rigged up, and we're going to use a pressure washer to do that. So I'll show you kind of what I got rigged up here. It's got a couple of shells, kind of metal. Just got them hooked onto the back of my trailer. Got some zip ties holding them on. Got a couple of bungee straps running across the jars. Just kind of slide them in there. Just kind of hold them in place. You can see they're kind of dirty. So we're going to do about a baker's dozen at a time on top and on the bottom. So it's going to be about 26 jars at a time. This is what the jars look like after you, you've done the pressure washing and a quick, quick pre-wash. Kind of look pretty good. That's a pretty quick job. 
It's not perfect, but it gets all the debris out of there. And uh, ready for the next pre-washing with Clorox and uh, some other stuff to take off the rusty part on the lids. So, for the lids, we have a rusty spot on there. So. I was able to clean up about probably 30 dozen jars of different sizes. But as you see, they're still going to have to have a little TLC, a little time to clean up some Clorox baths. They still have a little rust at the top due to the seals and stuff rusting on them. But later on, it's going to be worth the savings clean those up and I don't think they're going to be turn out extra well still to be able to use them. Hope you enjoyed the video. So if you like this video give me a thumbs up and uh, if you got any ideas out there that you like to do just uh, send them out and I'll see if I can give it a try. And these were pint jars, wide mouth and uh, the small mouth jars. You can also do quartz in them. You just have to strap them down with a bungee strap and hold everything in place and you don't break your jars. So, hopefully, I'll see you on the next video.